What's up, you guys? It's Mac. This is Cherry Bomb. Today, we're gonna do the walk around video. Let's get started. Please bear with me out here. I'm in San Angelo, and it's pretty windy, and there's nothing out here to stop the wind. The truck itself is a 2003 Toyota Tacoma with 172,000 miles on it. We're gonna start with the front, work our way back, and then go to the interior. For the front, the first thing you're probably gonna notice is this third gen Pro Grill. I got this just because I wanted to make it look more like a third gen and I didn't like the first gen grill that much. Additionally, we've got the smoked headlights with the little vinyl eyebrows to make it look angry. And then the bumper itself, this is a Flatland 4x4 kind of do-it-yourself bumper. You can buy the plans online for $30 and it gives you all the files and stuff and then you can put it on a plasma table with a sheet of metal and then it will cut it out for you. The little four inch pods that you'll see on the corners there, those are actually amber and those are the blinkers. In the first gen Tacomas, for some reason, it was too hard to put the blinkers right where there's bulbs, right near the lights, so they put them in the bumpers. So those little four inch pods are my blinkers. Here we've got a 20 inch light bar and all the light bars on the truck have two layers of this tinting vinyl on them to make them match the headlights better. Right here, We've got a hidden camera that I use a lot on the trails for backing up and in weird spots. Here we've got a worn 5,500 pound winch. We've got some Smitty built shackles and these mounts were not originally on the bumper itself. That's something that I added. As far as the rims and tires go for this build, the rims are the XD series KMC wheels, 18 inch XD 795 Haas. Now they have been modified stock. Those wheels have a really big chrome center cap and that was too much chrome for me so I painted them black and put the black TRD decal on them as well as added that little red dual vinyl stripe there and then the tires are the 30 inch BF Goodrich KO2s. Moving back to the hood you can see on the passenger side we have this triple black vinyl striping and then on the driver side we've got cherry bomb over there. The antenna is the bullet antenna from Ronin Gear Factory. And then on the hood, we've got two dual seven inch mounted light bars. I replaced these stock Toyota Tacoma badges on this car with the TRD Pro style off-road big badges. They look much better than the stock badges. And then on the passenger side here, I've got the American flag. And now we're gonna move to all the stickers that you see right on the bottom of the doors. One quick side note is that I do have these Weston Nerf bars that go across the side. And they also kind of act as rock sliders. They're just not as tied up against the body. All right, now let's look at the stickers. Passenger side, we've got Texas Toyota Coalition, which is a Toyota club here in Texas. We've got Plano USA, which makes the cases for my roof rack. Baby Yoda, Smitty Built, just the Toyota emblem. Alpine and Focal, which are some of the speakers inside. And then we've got Warren. On the driver's side here, again, we have those TRD Pro style emblems. And then we also have the Texas flag. All right, so vinyl on the driver's side, we've got an EGA. The Donut Media logo, BF Goodrich, Off-Road Insight, Prinzu, and a Japanese flag. One thing to note is that all of the doors have the visor guard on them, as well as the SR5 badge being plasti dipped. Also got the taco sauce only over the gas door here. And then right here is the Blaze Bros Tacos, their little differential breather mod. This is where the vent comes up to. Let's talk about this roof rack. This roof rack is the Prinsu Design Studio double cab rack. On the front, it's got the 42 inch rigid horse light bar. It's also got the logo accent mod done to it on the front and the sides. It's got paracord handles to be able to get to the cases and stuff on top easier. The cases are Plano 42 inch lockable rifle cases. I took all the foam out and just use them for bulk storage. In the middle, it's got an eight gallon spare gas tank. And then on the back, we've got some traction boards. The passenger side case, I just keep a bunch of water in here, a little bit of food, poncho liner, an MST kit, which is a medical survival tool kit, some hand warmers, mess kit, can opener, and an Israeli bandage. On the driver's side, I keep more of like trail needed equipment. So we've got a little baby e-tool, some bush cutters for smaller branches, a little ax, some gloves, different Smitty built um, straps and shackles. Let's see what else we've got in here. I've got some tie down and we got it. We got a snatch block. All just stuff that would be needed on the trail is gonna be right by me. In the back here, the third tail light is also smoked to match the other lights. And now we have made it to the back of the truck. So this rear bumper 
is completely my design. We basically took off the stock bumper and reverse engineered it, and it's designed to look a little bit like the front bumper with the curves and stuff like that. You can see we've got another one of those cameras. This is obviously the backup camera. We've got more shackles on the right and left side, the Smitty Belt shackles. The badges on the back here have been plasti dipped, and then the license plate lights are original, but they are LED. Additionally, one thing that I forgot to mention is the front and rear bumpers are covered in Raptor brand bed liner. All right, so now we've moved on to the interior. There's nothing really crazy going on in here. I'm gonna work my way from left to right. So down here on the left, I've got my little radio setup. I've got a Baofeng UV5R with an extended battery and a Code Red headset uh, push to talk speaker mic. And then additionally up here, we've got a little compass with a little LED light that I can use at night. This is the winch controller. Got a Hot Wheels Warthog right here. Um, just got a basic steering wheel cover. And then these are the monitors for the front and rear camera. This is just a little phone mount. Um, centrally, this is one of the coolest things I've done on the interior. This is all the switches for my light bars. Oh, my hand is now reached level of the sun. So this is the hood mounted lights, the uh, front bumper light, the roof rack light, and then this is gonna be a horn, which is actually the switches over here, but obviously it doesn't really work that well. It's just a 135 decibel little air horn. And then this biohazard one. And it does nothing, it's a blank for right now. Down here, we've got a little inverter kind of car charger thing. So you got a little on off thing and it has a digital display here. And then it has um, three car chargers and four USBs. It also can come off of here to kind of move to the back. Uh, nothing else really fancy in here. Just got some basic seat covers and some WeatherTech mats, and then I'll just show you. Oh, one other thing. This little fire extinguisher thing here. Um, one of my friend's cars burnt down, and he had to just sit and watch. And so now I carry a fire extinguisher um, for me or others. The back seat is definitely nothing fancy. It's got the same seat covers here, the um, WeatherTech mats, and my kids. But that's about it. Nothing to brag about back here. I forgot to mention is I've got these LED strips. I've got one here, one over there, and then got them in the back as well. Obviously, they're much better at night. Thank you guys for watching this video. This video has been long overdue. I hope you all are staying safe during this quarantine. Have a great day. God bless. Thank <laughs> you.